Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm an agronomist at K-State and today we're going to talk about staging corn plants that are too big to do the collard method in the field. So when we looked at uh, plants in the field that still had all the leaves on the bottom, they were younger. Uh, once we get past, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. We counted the collars for a V6 corn plant. Once it gets too far past this stage, it's harder to find the collars on these leaves because what happens is the upper plants on these leaves shade out the lower ones and so the plant doesn't really need these lower leaves anymore so it loses them. But when that happens, we can't find the first leaf anymore to know how to stage this. But we've talked about how a lot of stages in this um, part of the corn plant's life are still important for farmers so farmers still need to be able to tell what stage their corn plants are. And so we're gonna talk about a way that we can stage corn plants without being able to find the first leaf. And what we have to do for that is take a corn plant and cut it in half with a sharp knife, which I've already done here. And we'll notice that as we're looking at this corn plant, we can see these rings that go up the corn plant this way. And those rings are called nodes and nodes are places on a plant where new organs can grow from. So like a leaf or a branch, they grow from nodes. If we think about our bodies, where the nodes are on our bodies, we have hips and our legs grow from our hips. We have shoulders where our head and our arms grow from. Corn has nodes where its leaves grow from. So that's a way that you can think about nodes. When we're talking about nodes, um, if you'll remember when we were talking about our um, V5 to V6 corn plants, when that stem first comes above the ground, that critical stage, we can use that information to help us stage these corn plants. Because if we look at the base of these plants, if we cut it all the way to the bottom, there's a triangle at the base where it's just really dense. It's like a lot of rings are all smushed together because that's what's happening. The first four nodes are all compressed at the bottom. And the fifth node will be the first line that we see separated from that triangle at the bottom. So what we can do then is find on our corn plant a leaf that is still attached. We're going to use this one. If we follow the sheath, which is this part that's wrapped around the stem, to the part where it is attached, which would be right here. We can see it's attached at this node. So if we count up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is leaf number six. So if we know that, we can count up the collars the rest of the way on the plant. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So this would be a V13 corn plant with 13 collars. And that would be a way that we could determine those stages. If we look at a younger plant, we can see that we can see the nodes in this corn plant they're a little harder to see when they're smaller, but if we look at the bottom, we can still see the triangle with all the dense area and then the first node up from the bottom. So in a month, in a couple weeks, this plant will look like this one and we'll be able to see the nodes a lot more clearly. But cutting open a plant, counting the nodes with the collars is a way that we can stage corn uh, when the leaves fall off and a way that farmers can know what stage their corn is at in the field.